Hi, <laughs> Prof Deliant here. I just want to share with you some of the things that just don't happen to people who are not in wheelchairs. <laughs> I was doing a little wheelchair vacuuming. Here's the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Please remember I'm limited with my hands right now. So there's the top of the vacuum cleaner all the way down to the bottom of the vacuum cleaner. There's my knee covered in cat hair and flour and onion bits because I made a gorgeous caramelized avec pomme with tomato jam tarte or galette and oh my god is it good. Uh, I did get a taste before the militant lesbian existentialist feminist got it all. Here's my feet. They're not looking particularly attractive. Now what I'm going to try to do is <laughs> show you my problem because my dear readers, I'm stuck. Alright, I'm going to back away from the vacuum cleaner. You see the vacuum cleaner? You see? Okay, now <laughs> You see the cord on the floor? Okay. Yeah, you see, well, you're going to see what I can't see. You should have just seen my wheels. Uh, somehow the cord gets caught <laughs> in my wheels. And boom! Okay. If I go backwards, so does the vacuum cleaner. In fact, bam! There goes the vacuum cleaner. Okay. <laughs> Fred is gone. La bonne belle Bianca Castafiore is passed out in the kitchen drunk. The cats are all hiding. The genetically indentured staff, the domestic staff, have all run off through the underground passageways to the only decent Irish bar in town because Fred's not on the premises and they know they can get away with it. And here I am, <laughs> stuck to the goddamn vacuum cleaner for I don't know how many hours. Uh, I need to take a shower because I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm just pissed. Because there's nowhere I can go without a vacuum cleaner. Maybe if I turn around. Wait a minute. Let's try this. I'm driving the wheelchair with my elbow, in case you were wondering. Alright. Let's see what happens. Hey. Am I free? Am I free? Am I free? No. But it's not. Oh, wait. There we go. We got a drag. Mailed, mailed, mailed a Okay. Um. Well, anyway, I just wanted to share with you some of the joys of trying to... Ah, God bless it. <laughs> Maintain a manner. A manner such as the one that belongs to my dear Capitaine. Uh, in a beautiful fashion. I'm just trying to keep everything nice and neat and clean. See? Lovely, nice, neat, clean. You know. I got my Rothko's. I got everything in order. But I am attached as if by an umbilical cord to my goddamn vacuum cleaner for hours. So that means I'm stuck in this vicinity. Unless... <laughs> oh no. Okay. I need to take a nap. So I'm going to unplug the vacuum cleaner. Yes, we do have electricity here in this wing of Marlin's Black Hall. And I'm going to park the wheelchair yonder, climb into bed, and contemplate matters. And if anyone has any bright ideas, maybe when I'm out of the wheelchair, if I have access, I can figure this out. Yes, today my, one of my medications was increased threefold in terms of dosage. That's not helping. 
All right, well, anyway, <laughs> damn it all, over and out. It's been real. <laughs> I love life in a wheelchair. <laughs>